Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Pink Boy time, like always, XRP day. Enjoy with us the global future. Welcome back guys to another crypto day and it doesn't look good on those Monday. The entire coin market cap is by 133 billion and looks like it would continue drop. Same with Bitcoin by $4,630 XRP by only 13 cents. If you would tell me this for a few months ago, I wouldn't believe it. But right now we are in a very special situation. We are really in a crisis, not only in the financial sector, also in a health sector economically almost every business shut down it's horrible right now but this crisis also gives us the opportunity to buy more of the stocks or more of our favorite cryptocurrency it doesn't matter what you are in if it's xrp if it's bitcoin or ethereum or litecoin they're all so low honestly i believe it's a big opportunity and after this crisis so soon everything gets stable i'm pretty sure the market goes up and will go and turned to normal so that everybody will have the benefits from this crisis so guys catch the opportunity if you like but we don't have only negative news i still have a few news there looks pretty good they have a nice outlook what gives us hope for the future and the daily hold mentioned today bank of england city significant change of money and payments presents model of central banks digital currency this is pretty interesting because bank of england is pretty positive for digital currency the bank of england has issued a 57 page report examining how central banks digital currency could roll out and perform both a store of value as a regular form of money powering everyday payments the report follows months of discussion by several governments that are reviewing their monetary policies as they explore how to position themselves for a shift to a digital future and here i have a bloomberg interview of Mark Carney, Bank of England governor. Carney is not worried about digital currency. He even believes it will replace the Great Britain pound. Please watch this clip. I think what, you know some of the issues are that um, the under the exchanges that um, uh, the crypto assets. Uh, if if you or I buy uh, a crypto asset, the exchange on which we trade, or between crypto assets, those in general are not regulated activities, and they're certainly not regulated to the same standards as Nasdaq or the and LSE. Or, formal regulation. Uh, I, I mean, it's not my direct responsibility, but given um, the fact that um, there's there's evidence of and there's lots of temptation for uh, market manipulation, misconduct in these exchanges and some of these exchanges that the operational and technical standards are not the same in terms of uh, threat of uh, heist or uh, you know cyber heist or cyber attack you you want to bring them up to the level and the best of the cryptocurrencies I would suggest will gravitate to the best of the exchanges if they're regulated and others will fall by the wayside. But we've had this year a lot of regulators suddenly talking quite darkly about crypto and we've also had South Korea cracking down, yeah. China cracking down. Do you think this is the year that crypto sort of grows up or just gets regulated out of existence? Well, I you see that's the thing. Uh, I think bringing uh, cryptocurrencies into the regulated tent, if you will, uh, some will grow, some will, m many more will fall by the wayside. But that's, that's a good thing. That's a level playing field. And in the end, remember, it's not just about market manipulation. Part of this is about anti-money laundering, terrorism financing, other illicit activities. I mean, they're, they're, it is a privilege to be part of the financial system, to be connected to the financial system, and responsibilities come with those privileges. Awesome interview and how you see Mark Carney, the governor of Bank of England, is pretty optimistic for a digital future. I want to add one more clip of today. I find this awesome interview of Graham Bright. It is a little bit old from the Euro Exim 2019 and his statement was we may also see Replix RP moving across the SWIFT network as a currency. Very interesting. Please watch it. This will open your mindset what really could come up in the near future discussion um, surrounding crypto replacing SWIFT. So we did speak yeah. earlier where you mentioned that it's not necessarily about replacing SWIFT, it's about complementing yeah. it. So let's yeah. get some more information on this. Okay. I used to work for SWIFT. I was SWIFT for 20 years, so SWIFT is flowing through my veins. SWIFT is the pre preeminent messaging system for the financial industry, which covers, say, payments, FX, trade, 
in, in terms of uh, securities, etc., not to reconciliations, etc. What we're looking with the crypto, though, is uh, where SWIFT would have a store and forward system for most of its payment transactions, and where you need service level agreements that in a certain time I will do something, the payment turns up at a certain time during the day. Here we're looking at the new network styles, which allow instant, real time movement of the funds and visibility of those funds as well. So we would not have a situation where banks need to come back to you and say, have my funds arrived? Uh, it's three days later. Uh, I need to find out or find query messages moving around the network. It's nothing like that. I don't believe Ripple is going to replace SWIFT. Ripple is one of the complementary networks, which is going to allow those institutions who need real time to make use of that. And I think um, we're also seeing that SWIFT are changing their, their network capability so that real time will be a possibility as, that, uh, as well. But we may also see Ripple XRP moving across the SWIFT network as a currency when we're perhaps using something like FX. Now, so, I, I just, just slightly moving on for a second. Yeah. I hope guys you understand that the entire crypto market is right now in a very bad position but the outlook still for crypto is pretty positive you saw it even in those interviews what i tried to present today the outlook is still good guys i hope i could make your day a little bit i know the price is not that good it's pretty bad but it will recover soon i'm done for today guys please like and i hope i see you by my next video thank you so much have a wonderful day